In question 2 we have a small negatively charged sphere suspended from a fine glass spring between parallel horizontal metal plates. In A initially the plates are uncharged. The switch is set to position X and a high voltage DC supply connected across the plates causing the sphere to move vertically upwards coming to rest 18 millimeters higher than its original position. In part 1 we need to give the direction of the electric field between the plates. Well to force a negative charge up the field must be directed down as the field direction shows the force on a positive charge. In part 2 the spring constant of the glass spring is 0.24 newtons per meter. We need to show the force exerted on the sphere by the field is 4.3 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons. Well force is the spring constant times the change in length. Putting in the values gives a force of 4.32 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons which is around 4.3 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons as required. In part 3 the potential difference across the plates is 5.0 kilovolts the charge on the sphere minus 4.1 times 10 to the minus 8 coulombs. We need to find the separation of the plates. Well the force is given by the electric field strength times the charge the electric field strength by the potential difference divided by the separation of the plates. So substituting this into here gives the force as VQ over D or the separation D is VQ over F. Putting in the values given and found previously gives a separation of 0 0.047 meters or 47 millimeters. In B the switch is now moved to position Y. In part 1 we need to state and explain the effect of this on the electric field between the plates. Well the field will rapidly fall to zero as electrons can now flow from the bottom plate to the top plate until the potential difference between the plates is zero. In part two, with reference to the forces on the sphere, we need to explain why it starts to move with a simple harmonic motion. Well with the upwards force due to the field removed, the weight of the sphere will force it down, extending the spring. The force upwards will increase as the spring is extended with force being directly proportional to displacement from the equilibrium position and directed towards that equilibrium position. This is the condition needed for simple harmonic motion. 